Hi, I'm Peter Travers, and this is Popcorn, where we tell you what's happening at the movies. And a big happening right now is the movie Secretariat. Yes, it's a movie about that horse that won the Triple Crown in 1973. But it's more than just a story about a horse. It's a story about an underdog named Penny Chenery, who was Secretariat's owner. And she is played by Diane Lane, who is our guest today. Diane will be with us in just a minute, but first, let's take a look at Diane Lane in Secretariat. What is it, Lucian? What's wrong? Nothing. He just won the Preakness, like he won the Derby. You keep staring into your coffee. Are you, are you, are you worried about Red? Since citation today, 1948, seven horses have won the Derby and then the Preakness. Every single one of them has failed to win the Triple Crown. Well, he just won the first two in record time. Yeah, and the Belmont is the graveyard of speed horses. It's the longest race they'll ever run. Red is not afraid. And neither am I. If we push him instead of rest him, it could be dangerous. Nobody knows how much he can take. He does. He knows. Diane Lane, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. There's energy for us. Very so nice early to be in here. The morning. Same here. <laughs> so now that you've done Secretariat, you are, I'm assuming, a, a horse whisperer. Somebody <laughs> who can control. I fancy myself. As long as they're thoroughbreds. I, I'm actually a quarter horse girl really? and, a, and a western saddle girl in real life. Yeah. I was going to say, what the hell do you know about me. Horses? Explain to everybody out there who it is that you're playing. This well, Penny Chenery is an historic figure for a reason, many reasons. Uh, of course, it's the horse. It's all about the horse. Secretariat is the greatest race horse that ever lived, and his performance stands untouchable to this day. Of course, the fact that he cheated and had twice the heart of any other living so horse. I, they didn't find that out till the no, autopsy. No, I know, but I'm Who giving you a world that? exclusive because people know, don't do their research they anymore. They don't know it. They don't. They don't no, care. it's true. I, but metaphorically... Sure, bring us down. No. Here's this inspirational movie. So the horse had a bigger heart. Everything was twice, pumping. Twice. Pumping. Twice the size. <laughs> and, but not just physiologically. I mean, he had twice the personality. He was truly to the manner born. I mean, almost to the point of resentment from Penny Chenery. People forget that she'd won the Kentucky Derby the year before with another horse who was not such a handsome horse, you know, just a little bit homely. Name was Reva Ridge, and really an underdog type of, of a win for her. And as a mother, you do sort of nurture along the, the scruffier kid who needs a little extra help. And that, that braggart over there who makes it all look easy, Secretariat, she, she was just, he was so, you know, confident, and, and would just turn it on and make it all look so easy. And um, it was funny to hear her take on things ab about it in perspective, in hindsight, with the patina of time. I got to spend a lot of time with Penny Chenery. We, she seems like a pistol to she's me. She's a yeah. pistol and mm -hmm. a whip and all those <laughs> things. All of those yeah. things, yeah. Any comments, Penny? Well, I, I'd have to say I agree completely with Mr. Martin. His horse did run the second fastest ever. <laughs> In meeting somebody like that for the first time, do you come in very polite? Absolutely. Very, you know. I went in with, you know, my, as myself, as a civilian, mm -hmm. not really as an actor. And she didn't know anything about anything about me. And I, I loved that because it meant I didn't have to live down any embarrassing moments or live up to any, you know, promising moments. So I was just sneaking up on her and seeing if she was going to... We were sizing each other up. I bet. But you can look her up on YouTube, and certainly that hair was something to live up to. I mean, you could spot her like, where's Waldo across the racetrack <laughs> at any moment whenever she was there. Um, and I mean that with great affection because she woke up that way. I said, come on, Penny, give it up. Tell me the truth. Please, insider information. I've got to live up to this. She said, no, honey, my hair just, and I said, my hair will never do that. So It's just so perfect. It doesn't. I know. It doesn't move. I know. It's, it's like and if you look at the Madame Tussauds.
I read a recent interview with Penny, who I think is 88 now. Yep. And she said, you can't, isn't it? This horse isn't going to sit still and listen to me tell it things. Oh, no. You know, I'm not no, she, going what, to. What I love is she said, we didn't have a spiritual connection. We had a mutual respect. Yeah. Which is true. <laughs> which means say what you need to say and, and sort of They keep a wide out. berth and uh, say it from over there, mm -hmm. you know. But you've never had a horse. I have been, owned horses. You have owned yes, a horse. Yes, yes, okay. two. What was the first horse you ever owned's name? Well, Chief was my Chief. husband's horse. Mm -hmm. And then there's Chief's girlfriend who had a name that I can't say on your show. Yes, you can. That's just the great thing about cable. Uh, Chief's bitch. That, that was, was perfectly fine. Okay. That female dog. Chief's female dog. <laughs> That's I don't, right. You know, we have Chief's ways bitch, around. Yeah. <laughs> and because she was such a brat, uh, we had no idea what we were in for. I'm sure she had another name. Estrella was her name. No, no. No. That, she did not live up to that. <laughs> she would bite and kick and throw at the children. And she was supposed to be for the kids. And they wound up riding Chief. And Josh got <laughs> the other one. Chief's bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like living in this house with two actors? I've asked him this question before. And uh, I want to see if it comes. No, you think I'm going to say that before <laughs> you have answered it? <laughs> yeah. World exclusive. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's a big help to be in the same industry, whatever that is, because you have a shorthand and you don't bring this need to explain home. You just have a monosyllabic answer or a look and you know everything you need to know. You can fill in the blanks about the day. <laughs> that was the it, I know. The cross, you know, whatever is, is part of any field of endeavor has its prerequisites that people in the field know. Yes, they would know. They, the whole concept of Chief's Bitch would extend <laughs> to Hollywood <laughs> and to people that you would work with. And I guess That's there's just I that. That's why I want him to direct me. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> so that I can really buck him off. He's not saying anything to you when you two sit down to dinner. He's not saying, how are you playing with this? What are you doing with this horse? What's going on? You know, no, none of that? No, no, I think it's more any excuse to, to spend time on a horse is was convenient for him. Mm -hmm. He took me, uh, he, he's doing this Western, uh, at, he was getting ready to do it, he's filmed it now, True Grit, mm -hmm. coming out in Christmas. So he went up in the hills to practice riding and that was the last time I was on a horse with him. And I got thrown. And it was the first time I had ever gotten thrown. And it was sort of great because I got a chiropractic adjustment out of it that I didn't bargain for. So it was a good throw, not a bad throw. It was a, a good throw. throw. Can you yeah. imagine? No, I can't. Could have gone I the other way. See, like, My jaw throw. would be facing that way or something. It'd be bad. I right? thought since he's the bad guy in True Grit that he would just <laughs> not even be compassionate. He's you know, always. He would stay in his George Bush mode. That would be bad. Yeah. That no, would that just, wouldn't work that, for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, but <laughs> no, not that it's, much. it's just not going to happen. <laughs> yeah.